Hi guys. Picked up a couple motors just the other day unexpectedly from uh, two houses down. Check them out. My neighbor was cleaning out his garage after 30 years. So these were in the garage for 30 years, way in the back. And he asked me, well, my one neighbor came over and says, this guy Dennis got three outboard motors. Maybe you're interested, come and take a look. So yesterday I went to go take a look at him. And I told him right off the bat, only interested in the 9.9 Johnson. Turned out he had these other two, he says, all three of them. So we we had a few beers between the two of us. <laughs> and because uh, I really don't want to buy any more motors. I have so many, unless it's a really good deal. And so he came up with a price. He said he wanted uh, $100 for the three. So I said, ah, Dennis, it's a good price normally, but I have so many motors. And he knows my situation here, collecting for many years. So anyway, we got it down to $50. So I basically bought it for this for the 9.9. Uh, and she's not seized, she shifts, the tiller is frozen. It's a long shift. This motor here, I wrote it on the top. It's a 1950 3.6 Scott Atwater. And it's, it's seized. The other one is a 1948 5.4 horse Zephyr. And it's not seized, it's complete. All three engines are complete, basically. So, You know, being this is my hobby, this is my thing, something to do, I bought it. I'm probably going to hop on the 9.9 right away and try to get it ready for the spring, but I have so many other motors, so. That's a 74, by the way. But to sweeten the deal, he was going to scrap this propeller. Now, this propeller is a humongous. I think it's off like a 50, a V450 from the late 50s. And uh, it must weigh, I don't know, 8 pounds, 9 pounds. I told him you could probably scrap it for close to twenty dollars. He says, "Nah, take it, take it." He goes, he's holding the Budweiser in his hand. Take it, take it. All right, so I took it. And also, he threw this in too. And I already cleaned it up already. I polished the glass. And all the chrome rim was painted with powder blue paint. So I spent about a half hour cleaning it up. This is a nice hit right here. This is from the fifties. This is a complete uh, AC, made by GM, gauge cluster, tachometer, oil, amps, and temp, all in one, in really good shape. It's got, you know, brass housing. And again, I cleaned it all up, it looks really nice. And these go for a nice chunk on eBay, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Um, if I do sell it, I sell it. If I don't, I don't know. Nice conversation piece, if nothing else. It's in really good condition. But anyway, I got these three motors to tinkle with. Future projects. I got enough work, probably for 200 years. So maybe some, maybe I'll get them all done by then. <laughs> um, the roughest one here is the, uh, the Scott. The 50 Scott 3.6. It's painted like this primer. But the Zephyr's not in bad shape, as you can see. A nice feature with these, uh, Scott's, you know, they, Scott Atwater had a lot of nice features, you know, and they never were given really credit for it. But uh, just this loosen the cap thing on the, on the gas lid here with this door, and just slide it, it's a nice invention. I think it was supposed to be another little nub on this side. Might have broke off. Yeah, pen. But anyway, it's got the bleed on it, the air bleed. Um, very uh, spacey looking for the, that time, like in the late 40s. Everything was very spacey oriented, you know. Uh, Sci-fi kind of looking th uh, appearance. The Zephyr kind of looks like, you know, airplaney, gas tank. And this kind of looks kind of like... Uh, a robot kind of face on there with the uh, spark advance. But I just figured I'd show you these three motors. I'm always getting deals. I have another one, another $50 deal coming up in a few weeks. I got to go pick it up. It's, on, it's about 20 miles from here. Anyway, this is what I do.
Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.